Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are unboxing our PR from Ipsy. I got the Ipsy Glam Bag and the Glam Bag Plus for January. And yeah, I got this actually really, really early. So I'm super excited to see what we are starting the year off with. So let's see what we got. Okay, so we're gonna start off with our Glam Bag. This is what it looks like. Bunch of pastel colors, super, super cute. I actually really enjoy pastel colors, so this is super fun for me. It's got, oh, it's got a little cute little smiley face for a tab this month. And let's see. The first item I see is from Shayna B. Miami. This is what? Venetian Gray and Queen of Diamonds. So this is a pressed pigment duo. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty look at that oh that is so pretty okay normally I pass these on because I don't typically like keep the smaller palettes cause just because they get lost in my collection I like a little bit I like bigger palettes <laughs> but this is oh, stunning I have to swatch it oh that's so oh, that's so soft oh look at those look at those aren't they pretty gosh I love that shade <gasps> wow that's just like stunning look how pretty that is mm. I am keeping this one you guys this is beautiful I need to do a look with these very soon <laughs> So for the next item we have is from Lasting Smiles. This is a Polish Exfoliant Lip Scrub. Um, I love testing out new lip scrubs. Currently, my top favorite is e.l.f., not only because it does the job, but because it's super cheap. <laughs> um, so this will be fun to test out. Definitely have to have a lip scrub. Keep the lips smooth, especially in the wintertime when they're all like crazy chapped and just bleh awful. <laughs> okay, what else we got in here? This is, what is this? From Dewtube. This is a hydrating lip gloss. I actually am wearing a lip gloss right now. I'm wearing Marc Jacobs. I love lip glosses, especially if I'm like in a hurry or if I don't feel like wearing a lipstick that's going to transfer all over the place. I go with a lip gloss. <laughs> So, oh, oh, that's pretty. So this is the shade right here. Really pretty, it's like a pink shimmery. Um, the name of it is Champagne. So let's give this a nice little swatch. No, no real like scent to it. The applicator is uh, slanted just a tiny bit. That's pretty. Just a simple, like, light pinky champagne look. Has like little tiny micro uh, gold pieces in there. Really pretty. So I would definitely uh, use this. So, and I, oh, full size, by the way. That is awesome. Okay, the next item we have is from The Professionals. This is primer. Which primer? This is their lightweight uh, face primer to minimize the look of pores. I actually really enjoy the professional face primer. Um, that is one of my top ones. I actually just started using e.l.f. I actually like that one. But Benefit is always my go-to. So, I uh, haven't tried this one before. It is a super tiny sample. Uh, but this is just a glam bag. But I could actually get a lot of use out of this because a little bit goes a long way. So I'm actually happy that that's in there. And then the last item we have what is this. It's from Ico London. This is the liquid eyeliner in brown. <laughs> nice. We finally get something other than black. I like getting eyeliners. They do send a lot of shades in black, so I'm happy to get a brown. And I actually think I have the black one and I liked it. Oh, that, that applicator is 
awesome. It reminds me of the Wet n Wild and the Tattoo Liner applicator. That's going to be my new best friend. So it's like a dark reddish kind of brown. I don't know if you can tell or not. But I'm definitely happy to use this and uh, add this to my collection. So that is it for our glam bag. I actually really enjoyed this one. This little duo palette is super, super pretty. The lip gloss is adorable. The eyeliner, the fact that it's brown makes me happy. We have the lip scrub, which I will definitely use, and the uh, Benefit Professional Face Primer. I'm happy to be testing out a different one. So this is actually a pretty good bag, and uh, yeah, I'm really excited to see what we got in our Glam Bag Plus. Okay, so moving on to our Glam Bag Plus. This is what the bag looks like. It's got the pastel colors, except this one has a smiley face. Love it. Super cute. I'm pretty sure my daughter's going to be fighting me for that. <laughs> All right, so the first item we have in here is a brush. Now, usually when I get brushes in my Glam Bag Plus, I usually get like two, a pack of two, or maybe like a pack with a couple different ones in it. I don't think I've ever gotten just one brush in my Glam Bag Plus. Maybe I have. Maybe it was one of the com complex culture ones, but it was like a really big heavy brush. Uh, but this one is from Hip Dot, and it looks like it's a flat shader brush. Precise brush is what it says, but um, yeah, I'll add this to my collection. It is very pretty. I love the fade of colors on here. Um, it's extremely lightweight, but it doesn't feel very cheap, if that makes any sense. So I'm happy to have this. I love getting brushes, especially eye brushes, so this is up my alley. All right. Moving on, the next item we have is very small. This seems like it would be something in my Glam Bag because in the Glam Bag you get like little samples. Glam Bag Plus is supposed to be full-size products. So this is from Honey Jarrett. This is a lip sleeping mask. And it has one of those false bottoms in here. So, ooh, that actually smells really good. I love the smell of lemon. You can definitely smell the honey too. So that's exciting. I do like lip masks, so I'll definitely test this out. I wish it was a little bit bigger so it didn't feel like I was getting a sample size in the Glam Bag Plus, but you know, it is what it is. Moving on, our next item is from Rose and Quartz. This is a hair mask. So it says it's vegan, gluten-free, and not tested on animals, which is a huge plus in my book. So this is probably, I might be able to turn this into like two, two hair masks. So once again, yeah, I can split this up if I can like open and close this, then I'll be able to use this at least twice. So it says the hair mask loves deeply, transcend dry damage and breakage to experience soft, silky shine. Refresh and rejuvenate your mind and hair and spirit with daily to weekly treatments while meditating in aromas of rose water and sweet violet. Hashtag self care Sunday. Okay, that'll be nice to try. I do like trying new hair masks. And the next one we have from Koa Life. Ooh, this is the Mist Me Rejuvenating Toner. I don't think I've ever heard of this brand before, so this will be interesting. It said it improves the appearance of skin tone, reduces vis visibility of aging, nourishes and calms the skin, tones and firms, and strengthens the skin. So this is what the little mist looks like. I might give this a try. I do have a lot of skincare to get through, so I don't know if I'm definitely going to try this or if I'm just going to pass it along. So I'm just going to set that aside. And then the last item we have is from Kim Chi Chick. I want to say I've heard of this before, brand before, but I've never like purchased anything from them. This is the Stage Proof Matte Setting Spray. I'm so excited to have a setting spray in here. I love testing out setting sprays. Some of my favorites um, are the Glow Recipe. Oh, I love this one. I can spray this all day long just because of the fact that it smells like watermelon. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I love it. 
Um, we use the Urban Decay All Night Setting Spray for my daughter because that really helps her. And then I have, what is it? Hmm. I have the Fix Plus, but I usually use this just for like my shadows and stuff. I have the Morphe Setting Spray. That one's actually not too bad. Let's see what this one looks like. Oh, how fun. So this is what the setting spray bottle looks like. And it's a matte setting spray. It says, you've managed to beat on that mug after carefully blending it to perfection. Now take this bottle and spritz the magic liquid all over your face to seal that masterpiece. You've worked too hard to let that makeup go anywhere. That is absolutely true. So actually, instead of spraying this on my face, because I don't know what it's gonna smell like, we're gonna spray it on this like bubble wrap. Ooh. Doesn't really smell like anything. Look, look, look at that spray. Woo! Yeah, it doesn't really smell, smell like anything, but it is a very hard, like, in your face kind of spray, so I wouldn't have to, like, spray up close. I definitely have to spray really far back. Hmm. Well, okay. Let's, uh, let's give it a shot. <laughs> Here we go. Feels very wet. Very, very wet. You know how the if you use the Glow Recipe, it's a very fine mist on it. That's what I love about it. Look, just look at that. That's beautiful. I love that because it feels like refreshing. This is a little bit more harsh and um, kind of like I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. A little bit more. Like maybe this might good, be good for like my daughter for her stage makeup to make it just cling to her face. I'll, I'll, I'll have to give this a test out when I do a full face of makeup. So we're going to set that aside and say maybe to that. <laughs> okay, so let's go over our Glam Bag Plus. So we got the setting spray. I like the fact that it doesn't like have any kind of crazy harsh smell to it. It does have a little bit more of a hard sprayer or mist to it so that's going to take a little getting used to but i'm definitely willing to test this out uh, with the full face of makeup and see how it does we have the hair mask which i love hair masks so this is right up my alley um, if i can reclose this and i'll probably be able to get it uh, into two different hair masks we have the lip sleeping mask which i love lip masks um, and i like the fact that it's like honey and lemon that's that's such a good smell. Of course, we have the brush, which I absolutely love. And then we have the toner, which I'll probably, I'll probably just pass this on because my drawer of skincare is full and I need to really, I need to really buckle down and work through some of that. All right, so I feel like this box is okay. I definitely enjoyed December's a lot better, um, but it's not bad. So I still have two bags coming, the ones that I purchased myself, my Ipsy Glam Bag and my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. So those videos will be coming uh, soon, hopefully. Uh, so yeah, if you guys did like this unboxing, please give me a big ol' thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please go ahead and hit that button down below. I would love to have you. And uh, yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.